Hello, I'm Svetlin Naku from Softuni, and I'm here for the next episode from my Dev Concept series. In this lesson, I will explain the functional programming paradigm. Functional programming, FP, is a style of programming based on composing pure functions while avoiding shared data, mutable data, and side effects. It's important because most modern mainstream programming languages like JavaScript, Python, Java, and C-sharp support the functional paradigm with one day functions and higher order functions. In this lesson, I will explain and demonstrate through live coding example in JavaScript, Python, Java, and C-sharp the concepts of functional programming. Pure functions, first class functions, lambda functions, higher order functions, and how to combine these concepts to implement filtering, mapping, ordering, and other transformations over sequences of elements. Are you ready? Let's dive into the functional programming paradigm. Let's continue with another important paradigm in modern programming. Functional programming. Functional programming, FP, is programming based on composing pure functions while avoiding shared state mutable data and side effects. Functional programs are sequences of transformations of data through functions. In pure functional programming, uh, functions and programs don't have state. Uh, which means that functions do not hold shared data. They only access their input arguments and return output. I'll give you examples later. Functional, functional programming is declarative of programming approach, not imperative. Which means that instead of describing an algorithm how to do something step by step, Functional developers decri describe the result by functions and compositions of functions. The program state flows through pure functions, where one function passes uh, output data as input to another function. Uh, and I will illustrate how this happens with examples later. But what is a pure function? It is a function which returns only value only determined by its input without side effects. Therefore, using pure functional programming is often impractical. Modern languages use elements of functional style programming and are not purely functional. Examples of pure functions are the square root function, s square t of x, which takes as input as input a number and returns another number as output. And the function sort of list, which takes a list as input and returns a new list as output. Both functions have no side effects. They don't change anything, they don't read or write external data, and they do not use state. They are pure functions. Pure functions are the heart of the functional programming. Using pure functions uh, means maintaining consistent results. If you invoke a pure function many times with the same input data, it will have the same consistent behavior and will return the same result because it have no state and no interaction with the external data or components. Pure functions produce predictable results and behavior, and sometimes their correctness can be mathematically proven. This is the most important principle in functional programming. To build program by composition of stateless pure functions without side 
effects. Purely functional languages like Haskell are impractical for most real-world projects and are rarely used. Modern programming languages are much more practical, so they implement the functional paradigm along with other paradigms like structured programming and object-oriented programming. In this section, I will explain the ideas behind pure functional languages, impure functional languages, and multi-paradigm languages. There are many functional programming languages and languages that incorporate functional paradigms into modern software development. Most modern languages are not functional, but support concepts for functional programming. Purely uh, functional languages uh, are impractical and rarely used because it is more complicated to program without maintaining a state. Purely functional developers need to switch their thinking style from traditional algorithm thinking to functional thinking style. The program in the purely functional languages is a pure function. which cause other pure functions without side effects. An example of purely functional language is Haskell, which is not widely used in practice, but it has great value in learning the functional programming paradigms. Impure functional languages are used more often, often because they allow exceptions from the concept of pure functions. Uh, and thus simplify the work of developers. These languages emphasize on functional style, but sometimes a low side effects. An example of impure functional language is closure. It's not very popular in practical software development. Multi-paradigm languages combine the strengths of both of the functional and the algorithmic or imperative world. Most of today's widely used general purpose programming languages are multi-paradigm. They combine multiple paradigms, programming paradigms uh, like functional programming, like declarative programming, structured programming, imperative programming, object-oriented programming, component-based programming, event-driven programming, asynchronous programming, and many others. Examples of such general-purpose multi-paradigm programming languages are JavaScript, c -sharp, Python, Java, PHP, C++, Go, Swift, TypeScript. All these languages combine multiple concepts and paradigms for structuring the program to simplify the work of developers and improve their efficiency and performance. Now it's time to show you some code. I will demonstrate the functional style of programming through a simple c -sharp program written in a classical procedural style and the same code rewritten in a functional style. This is an example which demonstrates the functional style of programming compared to the traditional imperative or structured programming style. We want to write a C-sharp program to read several numbers and find the biggest of them and print them. To solve this program, problem in a functional style, we can write the following code. We print the result, which will be calculated by a function using another function, console write while. Then we split the result from the previous function, the input text, into space separated element, uh, elements. 
We, we read the input text. First, we read the input text from the console by invoking a function, console read one. Then we split the result from the previous function, the input text, into space separated elements, which are strings. Then we parse each of these input strings to integer numbers. We use the mapping function in C sharp select. It takes as input a sequence of strings and maps it through another function int.parse. And the result of, from this function is a sequence of integers. Finally, we find the biggest number from the list of numbers using the max function. Each subsequent step takes as input the result from the previous steps and transforms it into another result. This is the power of functional programming, to use a composition of functions to process certain data and obtain certain results. This functional style of writing expressions to build or compute something is very common in modern programming and can be seen in many programming languages, frameworks and libraries. Now, let's see the equivalent imperative style for the same program again in C-sharp. This is a piece of code written in a structured programming style or a pre procedural style. It consists of sequence of commands which uh, and each common takes it, its input from a variable, calculates a new result and stores it in a, in a variable. The first comment, this is the first comment, reading the input text. The next command splits the input text into space separated elements. The next command converts the sequence of input numbers from int, uh, from string to, from text to integers. The next command finds the maximum number from the integers. The last command prints the results. The imperative style uh, solution is very clear. It consists of very simple sequence of steps which execute one after another uh, and it is easy to read and to understand. The functional or the qualitative style solution uses nested functions and is more complex to read and understand. Some developers prefer the functional style, others prefer the procedural style. Developers need to know code styles and well and choose the best for their current task. We can see the code from the previous examples in action. Click at the first link. Wait for it to load. Uh, this is the functional style code. We click the run button. We enter some numbers like 20, 35, and the biggest number is 30. Now click on the second link. Wait for it to load. This is the procedural style code. Click the run button and again enter some uh, numbers 20, 30, 5.
is broken. Twenty thirty five, and the biggest number is thirty. In programming, one of the functions are short expressions that transform an input into an output. One of the functions are typically used as arguments to other functions, and this is supported by most modern programming languages. For example, a sorting function may accept as a parameter a lambda function which implements the comparison between two objects. For better understanding the concept, let's see some examples of lambda functions in JavaScript, Java, Python, and C Sharp. In programming, lambda functions are expressions which transform some input to some output. They look like a mathematical formula or like an anonymous an unnamed function. Here are some examples. The first example is lambda function in C sharp. The next example is a lambda function in JavaScript. The next example is a lambda function in Python. All these examples define the same lambda function in different language. It takes an input number x and returns twice this number, 2x. JavaScript, Python, C Sharp and Java support first class functions. This concept means that functions can be stored in variables and can be passed as arguments to other functions. These languages support expression of type function, which hold programming logic to transform some input into some output. Lambda functions are the simplest way to write expression of type function. Once we have a variable, which holds a function, we can invoke it. Let's review some examples. This example in C sharp whole shows how to define a variable uh, which holds a lambda function as its value. We define the variable twice, which holds the function multiplied by two. We can invoke the function twice with argument 5 and it returns 10. The next example is the same thing in Python. It declares variable twice and stores a lambda function in it. A function which tapes, takes a input x and returns 2 times x. Then we invoke the function twice with argument 5 and it returns 10. This is the same code in C sharp. Again, we defined a variable and assign a lambda function in it. Then we invoke the lambda function through the variable. The same code can be written in Java and it looks very similar. Declaration of lambda, of lambda function uh, and variable holding a lambda function and invocation of the lambda function. First class functions are an important concept in programming. They allow functions and methods to take other functions as arguments. And this is a very powerful tool for many situations. We shall learn more about functional programming and first class functions in the advanced programming modules and courses of SoftUnit. The following live demonstration illustrates uh, how to use first class functions in JavaScript. We open the live examples at repo it. Wait for it to load. Uh, then we click the run button. And we can see the result. The lambda function from 
the variable twice is invoked and its result is printed. Higher order functions take other functions as arguments and thus they can implement abstract behavior. For example, an aggregation function may accept as an argument the aggregation operator, which is a lambda function. Let's see how this happens in action. Higher order functions take other functions as arguments. This is powerful concept in functional programming. Using function, functions which take other functions as argument, we can implement abstract behavior. We can create functions which calculate something, but what exactly depends on their argument. arguments. Let's take an example, the function aggregate. It takes three parameters, start, and and func. The function aggregates the result from the given function over the numbers from start to end. Uh, for example, we can multiply the numbers from 1 to 10. Or we can sum the numbers from 20 to 30. In the body of the aggregate function, we apply the function func many times in a loop uh, for the numbers from start to end. The start number, end number and aggregate function can as arguments. This function is a good example which illustrates the power of higher order functions in functional programming. The function aggregate accepts as parameter another function which combines two values during the aggregation process. This is an example how we can invoke this higher order function. We sum the numbers from 1 to 10. The start argument is 1, the end argument is 10, and the aggregation function is a plus p. It sums its arguments. This is an example how we can invoke the same higher order function to multiply numbers from 1 to 10. It's very similar to the previous example. The last example demonstrates how we can append together numbers from 1 to 10 using the same higher order function. The aggregation function here is different. It appends uh, its arguments as text. This live demonstration illustrates how uh, to use higher order functions in JavaScript. We open the live example at repo with and wait for it to load. It needs some time. This is the example, the same example from the previous slide. The function aggregate. The function aggregate and three different scenarios of aggregation. We run it and we see the result and it is as expected. Hey, did you like this lesson? Do you want more? Join the learners community at softuni.org. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more free video tutorials on coding, dev concepts and software development. Get access to more free dev lessons and learning resources for developers. Get free help from mentors and meet other learners. And it's all free! Join now! softuni.org